Hello again everyone, and welcome to another Monmei tutorial. In this three-part tutorial, we'll be going over how to use the visual editor. In this first part of the tutorial, we'll go over how to edit the player sprite and speed. We'll also learn about the visual editor interface itself. And then lastly, we'll learn how to edit a monster's name, description, type, and evolution information. So let's get into it. Before we get into the visual editor itself, I'm going to show you how to add sprites to the player's index for use inside the visual editor. If you go into the player's index sprite, as you can see here, if you were to add a four directional sprite as a strip into this index, we can then use it in the visual editor. You would do this by just importing a sprite with all four directions, like this, and then you could just copy and paste it into the player index sprite. This would then show up in the visual editor as one of the pickable player sprites to use and to edit. Here we have pasted the player sprite we chose, and now you can see it here in the player's index sprite. We can then use this sprite in the visual editor, as you'll see in a moment. When you open Mon May, the first thing you'll see is to launch the game or the visual editor. Here we're going to go into the visual editor, and the first thing we want to do is click on this little player sprite on the left, and here we can edit our player. As you can see, our player sprite that we added is here at the very bottom as the last one. We can set its walk speed with a minimum of 1, or we can set it to a maximum of 8. We can also set the run speed to a minimum of 2 and to a maximum of 9. Monmei's visual editor is where you add everything you need for your game. From adding monster names and information and description, to changing their moves, to changing their stats, to changing everything there is to know about Dokimon or Monmei, or whatever game you're making out of Monmei. So the first thing we want to do is go over the controls. You can scroll through using the mouse wheel, or using up and down arrows here, as shown in this visual editor. You can press down, you can press this middle button to go back to the very top, or you can press up to scroll up. Next, the save button allows you to save any changes you make to those monsters. You can erase all monster data with the erase tool, and then you can load your previously saved data using this button. So if you were to erase all the data, and save, when you reload now, it saves blank data. But what if you want to restore it? Well, you can click this Load Default Data button, and it'll restore it for you to save, erase, or reload any way you want. Moving on, we have the links for Yana's Twitter and Discord links. Then, here we can make a backup of our save, we can view the save location folder, we can enable or disable the music, and then finally, we can click to enter or exit full screen. The final thing we'll go over in part 1 of this series is how to edit some of the basic monster information. First, we want to look at the evolution. If you look at the list of monsters in Mon May, you can decide if the monsters in order will be part of an evolution chain. So let's say the second monster here will evolve from the first one. We click this button over here, and we can set a level if we want it to evolve into the next one on the list. Here I set it to evolve at level 10 from the first monster to the next on the list. You can also click it to disable it. Now here at the very top, we can click to enter a monster name for it. Here I'm going to enter the name Donatello. This is going to be our new monster name. We can click here to enter a sub-description. We can also click 
down here to select its types or we can select the next one over to give it a second type as well. Move pools and the base stats we will go over in part 2 of this series. So the last thing for this one, we can click here and enter a main description. If you for whatever reason enter the wrong description, like so, you can just click it again and overwrite what you wrote, like this. Oh no, we made a mistake. Let's just leave it like this. You can then click the save button on the right side to save your changes. Your monster is now Donatello. If for whatever reason you want to restore this to its default settings, then please remember you can always load default data, erase it, or reload it. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 2 of this visual editor tutorial.